My name is Mark Simon, and I've been a professional artist for over 25 years. A lot of you may know some of the stuff I've been doing. I've been working in Hollywood as a story artist and concept illustrator for tw over 25 years now. And I am a huge fan of drawing digitally, and I love the Cintiqs. I've got my big 22-inch Cintiq here, and then I've really gotten into using my companion. This is the Wacom Cintiq Companion. Now, unlike other tablets, this is actually a full Windows 8 computer, and it rocks in every way. But as great as this machine is, there's a few things that you can do when it comes out of the box to make it work better for you as an artist. So I'm going to share a couple of these really quickly with you. Now, I'm one of those weird artists. I'm actually uh, uh, right-handed, which means my left hand, I always want to be playing with these buttons over here. These are the controllers that, that allow us to shortcut keys. But with doing that, what happens is the power button is actually over here. See that right there on the lower right? That means every time I go to grab the machine and move it, I'm putting it to sleep. The default is the power button puts it to sleep. Well, I don't want it going to sleep every time I just grab it. But luckily they thought of this and they made it real easy. So one of the things that, uh, that they've done is I'm gonna turn on my Bluetooth keyboard here and so one of the things that I like about Windows 8 is that I am able now, when I'm looking for uh, some menu, I can actually just start typing it on the, the main page here, on the start page, and I just start typing in control panel. So when you select that, you go down and you select power options. And here, so this is great. So to change the settings on the power button, there's actually right over here on the left, change what the power buttons do. Now, as I said, the default is sleep for both being on battery and when you're plugged in. So all you do is drop those down, select do nothing. And that keeps it really, so select save changes down here and you're done. Now, don't worry, you can still turn off your machine. Here's how you do it. You just swipe in from the right hand side, select settings and under power, you've got sleep, shut down or restart. So it keeps it really, really easy but keeps you from accidentally turning it off. Okay, so the second thing is, processor speed on this thing rocks, there's no problem. However, when you're on battery, it slows down the processor to save your battery life. All right, well that's fine. But when you're using things like Photoshop and you're doing a lot of quick sketching, sometimes there's going to be a big lag, especially if you've got a bigger file between your pen point and what you're seeing. And none of us as artists want that. We want this running full speed. So. Here's, here's what we do, and it's really easy to change. So I'm gonna go back to my start menu again, and once again, I'm gonna type in control panel. I'm gonna select control panel. I'm gonna go right back to power options, and there's two things that come up here. Right in the middle, either balanced or high performance. Well, balance balances processor speed with battery life. Well, you don't care about that, because I don't care about that as an artist. And believe it or not, I'm still getting almost five hours of battery life running high speed. So I'm gonna put high performance, and I am done. So now, when I'm sketching, it moves exactly, uh, the cursor is exactly under where I'm drawing all the time, doesn't matter what I'm working in. I'm even editing video on this thing. I've, I've run three streams of high def video, and I don't drop a frame as I'm working on it. So it's great, those two quick little changes, and you will be off and running and drawing quickly and loving this machine as much as I do. Thanks, we'll talk to you later. I gotta get back to drawing.